You're now watching the early morning late night show starring Buster McBoom. What's up guys? My name is Buster McBoom and on today's show we got the one and only Zuki. I be feeling like the man when I walk through. Hang stunned what you saying when I walk through. I got all these hoes staring when I What's up, Buster? Boom. Okay. How's it going, Zuby? Can I call you Zuby? Or do you have a name that you like to be called? I mean, my name is Sean. I'm gonna call you Zuby. What? What you said? I didn't hear you, huh? Say that again? Nothing. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get into it, because this is what the fans came here to see. So, Zuby, a fan wants to know, what's your dream car? My dream car? Well, Buster, my dream car will probably be like an S15. I don't know, I, I just love those. Those haven't like came to the US yet, so I'm waiting for those. Um, it's not like I could get it right now anyways, but I love S15, uh, GTRs, any, any My GTR. favorite dream car is a Civic, but I don't have one, I have a Prius. That's cool, bro, that's really cool. <laughs> Question number two for you, Zuby. A fan wants to know, when are you gonna host a meet? Do you not love us? Do you not love your fans? Where's the meet, bro? We want to come see your car. I'm trying to host a meet whenever this coronavirus stuff like dies down, or even when I hit like 5,000 subs or 3,000 subs. I don't know whoever hits first. Obviously, three is gonna hit first, but yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna drop a meet. I want to drop one, but I don't want nobody to get sick, and I don't want nobody who's sick to come to the meet and all that stuff. And then I don't want to have. I don't. I just don't want to deal with the mess yet. So I don't know when I'm dropping meet. Hopefully, I could drop a meet within this year. Or the beginning of next year, but yeah, man. <coughs> you, you <coughs> good? You good, bro? <coughs> you good? You coughing? I see you coughing. You good? Coronavirus. Right. Now I have a question for you. Oh, you have a question? That's crazy. All right, go for it. Tell me what you want to say. Is it worth installing an intake on a car that has no tune, or do you advise getting a tune with the intake so you get the full potential? Is it worth installing an intake with no tune? Um, yeah. If it's a three inch intake, of course, you put a 3.5 inch intake on like a SI or something like that, uh, you're most likely gonna throw a cold because you're running um, lean, I think. So yeah, don't do that. But if it's a three inch, yeah, go for it. You're not gonna make any like horsepower. You probably lose horsepower because how much heat the engine produces and how much air you're sucking is gonna be hot. So yeah, um, if it's a cold night and you know you wanna go for pulls, it's not gonna fade you that much. You're not gonna get that hot. Usually for me, when it's like cold outside, my temperature is like 80, 70. Um, when it's hot, it can be up from like 90 to 100, 110. So, yeah. It's up to you. Oh, so, sorry. Um, somebody asked, where do you buy your mods from? Where do I buy my mods? Um, my mods come from a lot of websites and uh, like in-person buys too. I got this place down here in Miami called... Nippon, Nip, Napon, something like that, Napon Power, Napon Motorsport, something like that, that's in Miami, got go to get, like, you know, certain parts, um, I use eBay a lot, because eBay, you get a lot of cheap stuff, you get a lot of cheap stuff, a lot of reputable stuff, um, if you use, like, uh, I don't know what this website's called, it's like, Suko Speed or something like that, uh, you can try K-Siri Parts, I use a lot of variations of sites, but my main go-to site is eBay, because if you just get the product number and you put it in the eBay search bar, it's gonna pop up the product and you might find it a little bit cheaper than what you find there on like a website and then you find it with probably free shipping too. So yeah, man, those are my websites. I don't really use them too much. I like to do stuff from the brain. Oh, and that's pretty cool, that's pretty interesting. Have you ever thought about flaring your car? I mean, my period outside is flared and it's pretty damn. Nope, never, never, nope, nah, nope, not doing it. I'm not flaring it, nope, 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 nope. It's not a Subaru, it's a SI, it's a Honda. Nope, 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 nope. All right, Zuby, so we're gonna do a little speed run and we're gonna go through all the questions I see and you're gonna answer them truthfully. It's probably be a little bit fast. Can you keep up with me? Can I keep up with you? Come on, let's get it. All right, let's get into it. So let's let's do number one, let's do number one. Let's do it, let's do it. Ready, you ready? What's your real specs? Bro, I get access every freaking day. 18 by eight and a half plus 35 offset, tire size, 225, 
40. What high beams do you use? I used to use some cheap RGB headlights, but those went out, so I need to purchase a new set. Where did you get your orange tent from? GFXP.com, something like that. Check it out. What type of oil do you recommend? Honda recommended oil. I don't know I don't know the size, but Honda, Mobile, Castro. I lied, don't use Castro. Are you planning to do the RBC swap and intake swap? Yeah, that's coming. How much did you pay for your SI? Too much. Is it hard to get in your knife gen? I'm kind of getting a little chubby, you feel me? So if I, if I can't get in and out the car, I can't get in and out the car. Yeah, it's, it's easy to get inside. I mean, my car is lowered, so you kind of do fall into it. But yeah, it's pretty easy to get inside. It's not, it's not bad. I need you to answer this real truthfully, because a lot of people ask this. K-Tuner or Honda? Honda. K-Tuner if you're going to stay N.A., Honda, if you're thinking about going boost and you want to send it, both you can send it with. But K Tune doesn't have like boost cut and all that stuff. So if your thing, you know, creeps over your little, you know, your little 12 pounds to like 16 pounds, that's your eye. Has your knife gem made a screeching noise when you lift off the clutch? Well, somebody asked this and I need to know before I purchase one for myself. Um, yeah, a couple times. It's not really that serious that I need to change it. Um, I think it's your slave that starts to go out when it starts squeaking a lot, like every time you lift the clutch. I don't know if it's your master mm. cylinder slave. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it's your clutch, your clutch slave. Intriguing. I don't know which one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the difference between slaves, to be honest. I know there's one that's on the transmission, there's one that's on your firewall. But yeah. Well, there you have it, you guys. Zuvi's SI does make a screeching. All right, Zuvi, this is where the show ends. Yeah. Say bye to the crowd. Bye guys. All right. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, I see you too. Bye. Yeah, yes, sir. I ah, love, love you, man. man. They love you. Yes, sir. Wow. They don't do that for you because they don't like you. I asked you some easy questions this time. Next time, they're gonna be difficult. Why did you get so evil out of nowhere? Alright, so I'm not gonna hold you here. I'm gonna let you go. So, get up and get out. Get up and get out. I said, get up and get out. I said, get up and get out. Yeah, yeah. Thought she had a friend. Later. <laughs>